Hello there and welcome back to the SLBI garden. Um, it's all still looking pretty wintry. Um, it's mid-February now so um, things should shortly be on the move and in fact if we look around we can see there's quite a bit happening in the garden even now. Um, here we have um, Lanicera fragrantissima. It's a scented shrubby honeysuckle as opposed to the no more normal climbing ones that flower in the summer. Absolutely gorgeous scent. Very sweet and um, just lovely. Um, so that's that's helping attracting the few, very few insects that are around at the moment. It's attracting, it's attracting them. Um, down here we have Daphne Loreola, which is a British native Daphne, um, often found in the sort of understory of woods. Um, sadly, it doesn't smell like it's more cultivated cousins, but um, it's still a lovely plant and seeds around quite happily here. Um, moving on, we, there's a few deer crocuses here, but as it's not a sunny day, there's not much sign of flowering, so um, that's a bit of a shame. Moving on now to another scented plant, um, the winter sweet, Carmenanthus praecox, which is a beautiful thing, one of our favourites in the garden. It smells absolutely gorgeous, and it's I got a little bit battered by the frost and the snow, but um, still looking pretty nice and pumping out its amazing spicy scent. It smells to me like Christmas biscuits from Lidl. It's got cinnamon and it's got nutmeg and it's got all sorts of lovely spicy things in it. And it's the most beautiful um, scent, which is wafting around the garden at the moment. So growing underneath the winter sweet is one of our favorite plants in this garden. Um, the British native Iris, Iris foetidissima. It, um, it has subtle flowers in some summer, you could say, um, sort of muted um, purples and yellows with very beautiful markings on, but not showstoppers, so you need to seek them out and it's worth doing that. Um, but in winter, you really can't miss these amazing berries, which have been here for three or four months now, I think, just um, never losing the intensity of their lovely orange colour and um, cheering us up through the winter. Um, this is also known as the roast beef plant. Um, if you crush the leaves, they do indeed smell of that slightly school dinnery, overcooked roast beef kind of thing. Not great, but it's um, it's still a lovely plant. And of course, well, February wouldn't be February without hellebores. Um, so here's some of the um, dark plum colored ones that seem to be um, colonising this garden. Um, they have the slightly, well, very charming, but slightly annoying habit of drooping their heads. So you really have to delve into them to see um, see their faces properly. Um, here I see is a, a, one of our very rare white ones, which is holding its head up quite well and looking incredibly beautiful. It's a really dark one. Gorgeous. Aren't they lush? Really lovely. Here's another kind of hellebore. Helleborus argutifolius, which comes from um, Mediterranean, um, used to be called Corsicus, and I think that's its sort of native stronghold. Um, beautiful plant with subtle green flowers and beautifully architectural leaves. Very lovely. And um, here is our third species of um, hellebore. This is Helleborus foetidus, um, which is a British native. Uh, lovely, a lovely plant starts flowering in January with its um, very subtle green flowers, beautiful, almost black green leaves. Very smart, very lovely plant. Seeds around, it's not, not long lived, but it does seed around, so we always have, we always have this in the garden. 
and it helps to light up the winter. And so, well, to leave you now on a on an optimistic note, um, the sun I think has been out for about half an hour and just look at the difference it's made to these crocuses. Those rather sad specimens we saw earlier on are now fully out, just basking in the sunshine and enjoying every second. And um, well, let's hope much the same thing happens to the rest of us in the next few weeks. Um, we can all get out and about again and um, we hope to see you back at the garden soon. Um, really looking forward to that. Um, so, well, here are the crocuses and bye for now.